Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Build of the Week is a weekly video series that showcases interesting character builds created by Path of Exile community members. This week's build is a shadow that uses five copies of Dodri's elixir. They each sacrifice some life to provide power, frenzy, and endurance charges that are consumed by a powerful discharge. Any remaining monsters are finished off with firestorms. In order to achieve such extreme damage, it sacrifices some defensiveness, but the results speak for themselves. The key to this build is the Cast on Death support gem, which provides a huge boost to spell damage. Almost all offensive and defensive capabilities are sacrificed to fill this character's gem slots with spells to cast when it dies. Any non-minion spells can be used with this gem, including Portal, which this build uses to quickly get back to the point where it died. Discharge is the build's primary damage dealer, and is linked to Cast on Death, added chaos damage, concentrated effects, and increased critical damage. It's placed inside an Infernal Mantle, which not only increases its level, but also the build's fire damage and critical strike chance. One of the effects of Infernal Mantle is to convert 25% of fire damage to chaos damage, which is useful for bypassing monsters' energy shields. Because the build doesn't have to worry about defense at all, it's free to load up on useful unique items. Malachi's Simula, Dodri's Tenure, and the Windscreen Boots all offer increased damage, while two copies of Calm's Sign offer extra endurance charges so that the build doesn't have to allocate them on the passive skill tree. The Parandus Blazon Belt offers increased item quantity. This rare gold amulet adds increased item rarity, spell damage, critical strike chance, and multiplier. The author of this build refers to it as a true glass cannon, and its passive skill tree is allocated with that in mind. This build's tree exclusively allocates offensive skills, such as spell damage, elemental damage, critical strike chance, and multiplier. The main exceptions here are the skills that grant additional charges, which are necessary for discharge to be as effective as possible. The Pain Adjuvement Keystone passive is important to this build as it gives it 30% more spell damage due to having no life at the time that its skills are actually cast. This build has limited hardcore viability, but can brute force its way through most non-map areas on its own without much trouble. It greatly benefits from having a party around that can clear a path for it to deal with bosses, as its own clear speed is hampered by having to repeatedly return to combat through a portal. The build has no trouble dealing with difficult map mods like Elemental Weakness or Reflection, but consumes map portals rather rapidly, so is rarely able to complete a map alone. If you'd like to submit your own build for next week's episode, just post a build guide in the class forums on pathofexile.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.